Oh, oh yeah, Chun actually, I think, uh, beats Balrog. Yeah, pretty well. Um, okay. Oh, I really like what Tony's doing here so far. He's, yeah, he's mixing up his offense with his defense pretty well. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. So what what Eric's doing there is a is a really grimy mix-up. After that throw, he can choose to cross under, land on either side, go for a tick throw, or go for a sweep, which will blow, throw like up any uh, reversal throw attempt. Um, so it's pretty grimy. It's a it's a pretty gross loop. The throw itself does a lot of damage. Probably one of the biggest reasons to play ball in this game. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, his offense is ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Let's see what Eric's got here. Oh, nice reversal throw. Let's see what corner pressure we get. Oh, nice tick throw. Oh, that's a pause? All right. That's that's one up for Eric. That sucks. Dang, yo. These arcade players might not be used to the start button, but them's the rules. Yeah. No, it's just the round. It's just the... Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, so that's a quick 1-0 for Eric. That's, right. That was an exciting round. Right. Tony. Yeah. <laughs> to Tony can't be too happy about that. That's gonna be have to be an adjustment. Yeah. Round one. Fight. Let's see what we got from Tony here. Real nice opening gamble. Ooh. Really good conditioning. Nice flash kick. It looks like Tony's angry now. Oh yeah, no, he's he's awakening. Nice, BD. He's just gotta avoid that throw. Cause that, I feel like is sort of, Barak's the best option to front to come. Dial. Mm -hmm. Totally. Super, but like, Tony really wasn't getting to build anymore, which is, which is good on his part. Okay, so we got some nice mid-range game here from Tony. He really knows what he's doing. He knows his zones pretty well. So, okay, this is, he's gonna have to prove something up. here. Oh, he went in front again. Throw. Nice! Yeah, you can't, you can't. You don't want to be up there against Balrog. He's got too many defensive options to really risk a meaty, uh, a meaty attempt at that life. All right, so we got match point for Eric here. Oh. I really want to see this go to a game three, just because of the lack of that last round. In the totally. And we can see Tony making a lot of adjustments on the fly, which is exciting. So. Nice reversal again. I don't think Basics has that uh, safe jump timing down. It's tough in this game. It's tough. Dial is one of the easier ones to do it against. I think it's about like a four frame window or something. So it's not bad as opposed to like Osagata or Ryu. Okay, here's the corner pressure from Guile. This is this is where Guile shines. There we there go. There you go, and we're going to game three. Yeah. Guile wins. That is a really good mix up. Pretty much after he throws that tick sonic boom, he can go for a throw or a low. And Eric has to guess uh, reversal or standing up and throwing. You have to stand up to throw in this game, so it always gets beat by lows. Uh -huh. Okay, gotcha. We have the switch. <laughs> the I don't switch. know if I like the it. Counter pick. Oh, Tony. Tony. Tony is not looking too happy. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Robot? Yeah. yeah. Tony asking for the moves. I don't know. That's a, <laughs> that's, that's a bad sign, folks. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think Guile's like pretty much the same. In HDR, I think he has like a better flash kick. Uh, maybe better super, I think, but not too much. Guile's a really solid character. He's one of those uh, mid, upper mid characters, but that can be a threat against anyone. Yeah. Right now, he's nice. in that corner. Eric getting blown up for this counter. Oh, oh that was his chance. Gets another throw. He has the corner now. I think, he's, I think Tony just mixed up so bad with Bazooka Knee. Yep. Oh. Nice! Oh, a great trade to take that round. Guile. Yeah. Guile has some pretty good options against the guy and at those ranges when he's uh, got life up. Oh! I don't know about that tiger knee, man. Oh, yeah, that's big. That was really obvious. Osagat, he went with the uh, original version here because uh, Yusagat isn't that great comparatively to Osagat. The DP from Osagat does, can do like 30% damage. Um, against some attacks, yeah. Like things like headbutt and uh, those like errant forward moves, you might get a like, stun automatically. But it's pretty rare. Stun is random in this game. A lot of things are random, damage is random. So there, there's variables to play with. Okay, we got... 
I, I, I don't like the range that Basics is playing from. He <laughs> Totally. Oh, there we go. That jump, that jump round house is really good. Oh, just oh, like Tony that. Takes it. Tony gets his revenge. Dang. Basics okay. with a smile on his face is gonna try and play it off, but you know, deep down, he's pretty salty.